variability is actually where species get the genetic wherewithal to be able to adapt to different kinds of stresses or different kinds of things that, that are thrown at them by the environment. And just like people, plants have relatives. And those relatives are able to perhaps contribute genes which will help bring variability back into the crops, the things that we really depend on on a global basis. So as human population has grown, essentially, we have come to the limit of the carrying capacity of the planet. So one of the things in thinking about food security is how do we provide more food or how do we make food more nutritious? How might we be able to grow food in smaller plots and get the same yield? And wild relatives, wild plants, which are coping with all of these different environmental stresses on a daily basis, could bring a lot of genetic diversity into crops that allow us to adapt them to, to grow in different kinds of ways that will help us to achieve food security. This project is really interesting and it comes at a really key time when these two things are coming together, our concern over the loss of biodiversity and our concern over food security. And there might not be any of these species left if we carry on destroying the earth in the, at the rate at which we are. And, and, think, and species go extinct, that now it's suddenly become right at the forefront that, wait a minute, if we keep going on this way, there isn't any way back, because there's no way to rerun the history of the Earth. One of the great things that I hope will come out of this project is, is our new ways of looking at things, seeing our place as part of a global system, because it's all about systems. You know, conservation or agriculture, it's not about a species of this or a species of that, it's about a system. Well, this review has been really interesting because it's allowed me to be able to dig into the data a little bit more. And I'm a scientist, and so I'm really interested in data. And I've been able to look at those data a little bit more closely and talk to the people who are actually responsible for them. It's an enormous amount of work which, which has gone in. It's an absolutely phenomenal amount of work that's been done really efficiently and effectively. Really good science like this will be taken up by other people and will be used for lots of other different things, which perhaps the project team or anybody involved with the project team may never have thought of before and that that will mean it has real impact in a scientific sphere. One of the things I, that I think is interesting is it's kind of a microcosm of what I think should be happening more broadly. Q, which is a diversity conservation based organism, has to come together with the Trust and with CIAR, the CGIAR Center, and those organizations you know, 10 years ago would have been going along on their own trajectories, thinking about their own things in their own particular ways. And one of the things that's great about this project is it's, is it's almost a case study for what it needs to be replicated in the wider world. A new way of looking at the world which incorporates the best from each of those places. And, it, and, th and that's very exciting. And that's why this next phase is going to be really interesting because it goes beyond the three players and it goes into countries and isn't about taking something to someone and telling them how to do it. It's about supporting and building national capacity in countries and contribute to those global priorities from their national level in a different way. Why should I care about somebody going out and collecting goat grass? A global benefit is a good thing to articulate, but actually to make people really want to support it, it's got to be personal. In 25 years time, because of this project, I might be eating my bread in the morning that has material that's come from one of those crop wild relatives that's been collected in one of the priority countries that has been able to be used by breeders because of this project and that that bread will be more nutritious and easier to produce. And so that's a really tangible thing that I can see that might be important to me.